Sports Video Group is coming to you from the floor of the 2016 NAB show. Brad Acosta reporting for SVG. We're meeting with our friends at HGST. Jeff Greenwald, he's the Senior Director of Market Development for the company. Jeff, good to see you, man. Thanks, Brandon. Nice to be here, and thanks for coming. Uh, let's talk storage real quick. Uh, your object storage solution has launched here in conjunction with this show. Take us inside that new uh, exciting product for you guys. Great, thank you. Object storage is an important trend for all of those studios, all those post houses, dealing with petascale problems relative to storage, working on episodic films, TV series, uh, delivering video streams to all those mobile devices. How do you preserve it? How do you deal with petascale kind of uh, caliber workflows? And our solution solves many of those at cost, at scale. And that's really our focus. As you can see, the uh, unit behind me uh, holds about five petabytes in a single unit. You can geo-disperse these, meaning you can put a rack in London, a rack in New York, a rack in Sydney, and even though one site might go down, you can still essentially find your file, recreate it, and deliver it 7x24 with low latencies. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's fantastic. I, I mean, storage is really booming, especially from what we're seeing at Sports Video Group with uh, just files and projects just getting bigger and larger. Uh, you know, it, it's a pretty interesting time in the industry for a storage company like yourself, I imagine. It is. Uh, the, the growth that you're talking about, is, part of it is due to moving to 4K workflows, HDR, uh, moving to, to uh, all the versions, all the, uh, the tremendous quantities of, of uh, data dealing with, you know, of course you don't want to delete data, so you want to keep all the camera angles, you want to have all the metadata, all the analytics associated with the files. You want to personalize, you want to have language, subtitling, bannering, yeah, I could go on, but <laughs> we, we, I'm sure we both have to go to lunch. <laughs> but uh, but that, that explosion in data, um, as you know, budgets aren't exploding. And so we have to be smarter. We have to essentially develop technologies that still integrate with the workflows, but do it at a cost-effective manner. That's, that's where we come in. So obviously you guys are involved in many different projects across the globe, but there's one in particular that you are very excited about coming up this summer in Switzerland. Why don't you give us a little bit more of the lowdown on that? Sure, uh, the Montreux Jazz Festival is a really cool event. It's been going on for decades, I think 40 years. Well, many people have been playing great music, great jazz artists over literally the, some, from about the late 70s on. And so the EPFL, which is a university in Switzerland, is archiving all of the music and all of the festivals going back 40 years. Guess what they're using to archive all of that? All that can, I wonder right, exactly. <laughs> so you'll hear more about that and all of that great music will be teed up and will be made available globally. You can access it, listen to some fabulous music, and also the festival this year will be captured and a lot of that content and some of the, the uh, cool jazz greats from uh, the 80s and 90s will also be. So that's, uh, that's coming up and you'll hear more about that and see that online because more and more companies who have both video as well as music libraries are looking at exposing that but doing it at an effective way to preserve for the next hundred years these good video as well as music archives. Well, we'll definitely have to check that event out over the summer. Uh, Jeff, really appreciate you taking the time on a very busy week and uh, good luck with the rest of the show. Thanks, thanks SVG and thanks Brandon. No problem. For more of Sports Video Group's coverage of the 2016 NAB show, you can visit us online and read our blog at sportsvideo.org.